What is up everyone? It's your girl Nicole.young and welcome back to my channel, the best place for anyone who wants to get into tech, learn how to code or earn more freedom through freelancing. I am in a really good mood today, guys. I wanted to share this moment with you all because I am celebrating a big milestone in my journey and you all are a big part of why I am celebrating. So it is one year since I quit my nine to five and I am so excited that it's already been a whole year and also really happy that things turned out just the way I wanted them to, um, and probably even better than that. I know that I have so much time left in my journey. I'm nowhere near done, but it has been such a great first year, just navigating, learning how to code, teaching myself, and being in freelancing. And I'm just really excited that I get to continue to do this and continue to share this journey with you all. So I've been doing a lot of reflecting lately on the lessons that I can learn from this past year and also been really thinking about where I started and the job that I left and you know, kind of the feelings that I had around that. And I wanted to share some of the reflections and lessons that I've learned with you all. So if you haven't already, definitely check out the videos that I've linked above where I go into detail about my job, the experience, what I did there, and what ultimately left me to quitting. And you'll get a lot more context there. But the gist of it was about three, maybe six months before I quit, uh, the structure and leadership in the job that I was working started to shift dramatically. I was working at a tech startup and that happens. Uh, but what I realized was that a lot of the changes were going into a direction that I just didn't feel like was right and I didn't think was the best for me. I felt like when I first started, the job was a very people-oriented type of place to work. It was one that valued leadership and learning uh, opportunities and things like that and really invested in its employees. And throughout the shifts and changes, I feel like it, it went from being people-oriented to being very process and uh, profit-focused and oriented. and there became a lot of pressure to perform and I was really, really stressed. So I think one of the biggest lessons that going through that taught me was the importance of self-care when you're going through difficult situations or when you're under a lot of stress. I was so stressed out, you guys. I remember I was suffering from insomnia where I wasn't getting enough sleep. I was so anxious all of the time that it was hard to fall asleep. It was hard to then wake up if I did get any sleep that night. And it was really hard to like get to work on time because I was just so tired all of the time. Um, I remember that over time my eating habits really took a hit. I stopped eating, I stopped cooking for myself and I started uh, getting a lot of takeout and eating a ton of junk food. And over time, that mental strain and stress and anxiety started to affect me physically a lot. So not only was I not getting enough sleep, but you know, my physical body was going through it as well. And it was partially because of the stress, but also partially because the way I responded to the stress in my eating habits, in the way I was taking care of myself, didn't really help, just made it worse. I think what took the worst hit though was my skin. My skin started to break out, just worse than I ever had it before. It was so bad. It was really painful breakouts that were random and not predictable at all. They were just so all over the place and were popping up all the time. And I wanted to take a minute to shout out the sponsor of today's video, which is Curology. Curology has actually been a big part of my journey to recovering and reclaiming my self-care habits as I left my, my nine to five. 
I found it around the time I was contemplating quitting my job and because my skin was so bad and because I was in such a stressful situation, I wanted something that was going to help clear the breakouts and the scarring that was left from it, but also help me to kind of get back to a regular routine. I knew I wasn't going to be able to deal with a 10 to 12 step skincare routine, but I loved that Curology had three simple steps and a custom cream formula for me that I could use to help target the issues that I was having with my skin at the time. Once I started using Curology, it didn't take long for me to start seeing results. And I remember a day that I like did my full makeup and felt really good about myself because the surface of my skin started to look a lot smoother and had a little bit more glow to it. And I was really excited about that. And it gave me the confidence that I needed to really stand firm in who I was and be confident in myself enough to kind of move into quitting my job and sticking to my guns about it. Right away working with Curology, I started to notice results quickly. My first impression of Curology was that it was really simple and easy to use. It was easy to stay consistent with it. And I really loved having access to a dermatology provider who was really responsive and able to help me with all of the concerns that I had. Not only that, but as the breakup started to clear up, I was able to work with her to change my formula to something that suits my needs now, which my biggest concern is fading the dark marks and scars that were left from all of those breakouts. And also just having some general preventative anti-aging maintenance to my skin. And she has switched up my formula so that I'm able to do that. And I love love that Curology is able to change with me as my skincare needs change. If Curology sounds like something you want to try, you can check the link in the description of this video to get one month free. All you'll have to do is pay the $4.95 for shipping and handling. It is definitely something that I would recommend. It has been a big part of my journey to getting back to a better skincare routine and just in general, taking better care of my skin. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for being here, for celebrating with me today, but also for just allowing me to share my journey with you and for being such an amazing, supportive community. I am so grateful for it and owe so much of this joy and gratitude that I have to you. And as always, know that I am rooting for you, that I love you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.